New England Cotton Tales Part 2. I want to go over in more detail about what specifically threatens the New England Cotton Tail as a species. So I want to talk about their habitat loss and the Eastern Cotton Tail competition in more detail. And then I'll go over a few other more minor threats. So first, the habitat loss, and I think this is the biggest threat to the New England cottontails, because they require really thick, brushy, shrubby bushes, and they, the reason is that they don't like to come out from under cover. So they're going to spend their entire uh, lives hiding, because they're a really common, really delicious uh, prey animal for, like, foxes, uh, coyotes and other various predators. So this kind of environment that they need and do well in can be found in very young forests, uh, usually under 25 years old. And that's because they need really young trees that will not block out the sun and smother those bushes underneath. So when you get into old forests with really big trees, uh, be it pine, oak, maple, birch, whatever, if they get really, really big, then the, uh, the floor of that kind of forest uh, starts to thin out, and that's not good for the bunnies. There's also land that is cleared for farming uh, and urban and suburban areas where these rabbits just cannot live. And um, there was a time period during... The early 1900s, I believe it was between 1900 and the 1960s, throughout that entire time period, um, you know, when uh, the New England states were developing, they cleared a lot of land initially for lots of big family farms. And eventually, as the areas became more urban and suburban, some of the farmland was simply abandoned and regrew into forest. Here it is, much more than 25 years later, and so we have a lot of old forests in New England, and that's one of the contributors to the habitat loss of this uh, species. The, okay, the eastern cottontail is also a big threat because it's a competing species. They eat the same food, they are eaten by the same species, and, um except that the eastern cottontail is less susceptible to predation. They're slightly bigger, so they can get away a little bit faster. Their ears are slightly bigger and, and longer, so they are just that much better at detecting predators uh, from a distance, and it, it makes all the difference. The um, New England cottontails absolutely refuse to come out from co cover. They will never go more than five meters away from their bushy shrubs. So the eastern cottontails can venture out farther from cover, and therefore they have more access to food, and when there are more of these eastern cottontails, there's less food for the New England cottontails, which is the endangered species. So um, the new environment of cleared farmland and backyards is really well suited to the eastern rabbits, and they thrive in that kind of environment. So usually when you see a bunny just sitting out in your backyard kind of chilling, that's probably, uh, if you live in New England, that's probably an eastern cottontail. And uh, we see them all the time around here. I happen to be from around here. They're a very common sight. And lastly, we've got some other miscellaneous threats that are contributing factors to the decline of the New England cottontail. Hunting, uh, it used to be a lot more predominant. Uh, these rabbits were hunted for their fur, meat, and for sport. But uh, this has declined a bit, partially because of the um, awareness about this species, and uh, partially just because it's not as popular of a thing to do anymore. And then also, the increased deer population, as we know, deer do very well, like, on the edges of uh, backyards and farms in rural and suburban areas. And they're actually competing for some of the same food sources. So, as the deer population goes up, 
there becomes less food for the rabbits, and we have a s influence on the decline in the New England rabbit. And there's also um, indirectly related that there are some introduced plant species that are kind of stepping on the territory of the plant foods that the rabbits eat. And so, again, we have more pressure on that food source. So the New England cottontail rabbit is uh, suffering from some huge threats to its habitat. There's some comp competition from the eastern cottontail, and there are some other threats like hunting and uh, lack of food sources. So if you want any more information about this topic, uh, hopefully you've seen part one, but go see part three after you've watched both. And then go to animalethicsri.weebly.com slash New England Cottontails for a lot more detailed information into specifics about this. And uh, like the Facebook page so that you can keep up with uh, all the updates. Thanks.